Your name is high above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is high above every other name. Your name is Jesus. I say your name is Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You have risen from the dead and you are Lord. Every day shout out every dark confess that Jesus Christ is Lord hey my Lord he is Lord he's my Lord he's my Lord he has risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Come on, your hands, your hands, your hands. Yes, he's the Lord. Samba da baraka tali baba. Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful, your name is excellent, your name is miracle. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a whole world in your You got a whole world in your You got a whole world You got a whole world you got the whole world in your You got the whole world in your hand. You got the whole world in your hand. You got the whole world in your hand. You got the whole world in your You got the whole world. I love you. You got a whole world in your hand. You got a whole world in your hand. You got a whole world You got a little, little babies. In your hand. You got a little, little babies. In your hand. You got a little, little babies. You got the whole world in your hand. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful. Like unto thee, oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, is like who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, Jehovah, 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 Jehov
Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high God. You are the most high God. You are my most high God. Jehovah, you are my most high God. You are my most high God. You are my most high God. You are the most high God. You are the most high God. You are the most high God, my God. There is no God like you, Lord. There is no king like you. You are the king of glory, my king. I come to worship my king, the king of glory. I come to worship my king of glory. I come to worship my king of glory. I come to praise my king of glory. Ah, you are the most high. Ah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high God. That is why angels worship him. Cherubim worship him. Seraphim worship him. All angels worship him. They say, Holy, holy is the Lord. They say, Holy, holy is the Lord. They say, You are holy, my king. Oh, holy, holy is the Lord. My God is holy. Your name is holy. Holy, holy is the Lord. Your throne is holy. Holy, holy is the Lord. Your kingdom is holy. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy Spirit made us holy. Holy, holy is the Lord. You have given us your holiness. Holy, holy is the Lord. You give us your holiness. Holy, holy is the Lord. We are holy unto Yahweh. We are holy unto Yahweh. We are holy unto Jehovah Nisi. We are holy unto Jehovah Jireh. We are holy unto Yahweh, my King. We are holy unto Yahweh, my King. El Shaddai, King of Kings. El Shaddai, Adonai. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Sekin, you are the Jehovah Rapha, you are my Jehovah Elohim, you are Jehovah Sekin, you are Jehovah Manlo, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Lord of God, you are Jehovah, you are Jehovah, you are you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Oh, you are Jehovah. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. My covenant keeping God. Unchanging changer. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Sekinu. Jehovah Adonai, you are Adonai, Jehovah Adonai, Lord of Lord, Lord of Lord, Lord of Lord, Lord of Lord, you are worthy to be praised, 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 you are worthy to be worshipped, you are worthy, worthy, worthy. 
Wadi, 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 of my praise, who are my praise, Wadi, Wadi, of my praise, Wadi, of my praise, you are Wadi, 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 my defender, Wadi, Wadi, my defender, Wadi, Yahweh, Wadi, Yahweh, Wadi, Yahweh, 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. You are do Baba <laughs> Jeken de brokotoli babanda boko sete aramana iramara aramanda rababa kuskala shakara baba kuskata yabaro. You have the power. You can send thunder. You can send lightning. You can send rain. You can send money. You can send healing. You can send whatever you like. In your hand is power. In your hand is might. In your hand is the wall. Oh, the whole wall. The whole wall is in your hand. A rabba santeribo. Carabba santeribo. Carabba bandaba. Carabba barabada. Carabba kutur baba shakataria bakus kataraba. Kurama santaria baba guria. Carabba mama kusa. Carabba basuntoria baba shakatara baba santoria baba guria. Rabba baba 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 baba. Shantari baba raka. Arriba kose moko. Arama kasatalia. Irima santari baba. Arriba kasatari baba. I dance before my God. David dance before you Lord. I come to dance before you. I give you my dance worship. I give you my dance worship. Ili mandara baka santari baba. Daro kose te. Ili bambara katali bobo rekete. Yeah, Adonai, hey, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Rafa, my healer, my healer, my healer, my healer, my miracle working God, my miracle working God, my miracle working God. Send down your power, send down your power, the power in your hand. The power in your hand. Send down your power. 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 Send it down. Send it down, oh Lord. In this place, send down your power. In this place, send down your power. All the God of love. Your dominion and your power. Your dominion and your power. Your power. Your authority. Your power. Your authority. Power. 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 Your power. Is your power, your kingdom, 
Your kingdom come. Your kingdom has come. Your kingdom. Your power. Your power. Your power. Your power. Your power. Your power. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Is Telereba Ketoli Baba Santaria Baba Kula. Hey, Gebora Katali Mama Santaria Baba. You are holy, Lord. You are holy. Yahweh. You are holy. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. You are holy. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the kingdom of heaven. We are calling you to lead us now. Let there be manifestations of the kingdom power. Manifestations. Great and miraculous manifestations. Supernatural. Supernatural deliverance, supernatural protection. Supernatural riches. Holy Spirit. Let the supernatural fall upon us. Through you, Holy Spirit. We are kingdom citizens. We confess and say we are the righteousness of God in Christ. And now we can do all things to Christ which threaten us. We have supernatural ministries. Our business is supernatural. Because your name is upon it. Your name is upon it. Thank you, Father. Come on, let's jam our hands together. Happy Sunday to everyone. We are serving a mighty God. Say, in Jesus' name, I choose life. In Jesus' name, I choose life. I am in Christ. I am in Christ. I have redemption in Christ. I have redemption in Christ. I am called as a minister of God. I am called as a minister of God. In Christ. In Christ. I read in life by Christ. I read in life by Christ. I'm alive unto God. I'm alive unto God. Through Christ. Through Christ. I have eternal life. I have eternal life. Through Christ. Through Christ. I'm a joint heir with Christ. I'm a joint heir with Christ. I am sanctified in Christ. I am sanctified with Christ. My body. My body. Is a member of Christ. Is a member of Christ. I have victory through Christ. I have victory through Christ. I triumph in Christ. I triumph in Christ. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new creature in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I have liberty in Christ. I have liberty in Christ. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Yet not I that live it. Yet I that live it. But Christ that liveth in me. But Christ that liveth in me. I have put on Christ. I have put on Christ. I put on Christ. I put on Christ. The Messiah. The Messiah. Upon my spirit. Upon my spirit. Soul. Soul. And body. And body. I have been blessed. I have been blessed. With all spiritual blessings. With all spiritual blessings. In heavenly places. In heavenly places. I have a, I have an heir. I have an heir. I am an heir. I am an heir. Of God. Of God. Through Christ. Through Christ. I've been blessed. I have been blessed and chosen, and chosen in Christ. In Christ before the foundation, before the foundation of, the world, of the world. That I should be holy. That I should be holy and without blame. And without blame before, him, before him. I have obtained, I have obtained my, inheritance my inheritance 
in Christ. In Christ. I have inheritance. I have inheritance in Christ. In Christ. And I come to obtain. And I come to obtain my inheritance. My inheritance in Christ. In Christ. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the name that I use. Is the name that I use to obtain my inheritance. To obtain my inheritance. So the name of Jesus belongs to me. So the name of Jesus belongs to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break the power. I break the power. Of Satan, of Satan, over my spirit, over my, spirit, over my soul, over my, soul over, my body, over my body, over this week, over this week in, the in the name of Jesus, I claim this week, I, claim this I, week, redeem, this week, I redeem this week with the blood of the Lamb. Satan, you are defeated. Satan, you are defeated. Jesus dethroned you, Jesus dethroned and, all of your cohorts. and all of your cohorts. I am no longer, I am no longer afraid, of afraid of you. One time, Satan, One time, Satan you were my master. You were but right, now, but right now, I am your master. I am your master. I am your master. I am your master. Because Jesus, because Jesus has made me master, has made me master over, all over all evil spirits, over demons, over, demons, over those worlds. World. I am a master over the world. I am a master over the world. I am free. I am free. I am free indeed. I, am free indeed. I already know the truth. I already know the truth. And the truth. And has set, has set me free. My master Jesus My said, master Jesus I, said shall know the truth, I shall know the truth and the truth shall make me free. Make me free. What, is what is the truth? The truth is, the truth is Jesus defeated you. Jesus defeated Satan. Satan. He defeated you. He defeated you. Principalities, and powers. Principalities and powers. He defeated you. He defeated you. All magical power. All magical power. Occulted power. Occulted power. Jesus defeated you. Jesus defeated and right now, and right now he, has me he has given me authority, authority. So, every knee so every knee should bow, shall bow of, things heaven, of things in heaven of beings in heaven of things in earth, on, earth, on earth and even under the earth, and even under the earth. heaven, heaven earth, earth hell, hell know for sure, know for sure that, God that God has raised Jesus, has raised Jesus from, the dead, from the dead and has seated him at his own right hand, right far, hand. Above. far above Pre all principality Jesus is far above, is far above. All, powers. all powers the name of Jesus is far above, the name of Jesus is far above. All, rulers all rulers of darkness of this world, of this, world. This, name this name is far above, is far above. All, wickedness. all wickedness this name, his name is far above, is far above. My, problem. my problem so I have solution so in Christ. In Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands for more time. Stretch your hands. As if you are receiving a bite. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless this house. I use the name of Jesus to put blessing on this house. Right now, I say every single person listening to me, I say be fruitful, Amen. multiply, Amen. replenish the earth, Amen. subdue, Amen. and have dominion. Amen. I bless you Amen. with the Solomonic blessing. Amen. I bless you Amen. with the blessing of Joseph. Amen. I bless you Amen. with the blessing of Elijah, Amen. the blessing of Elisha, Amen. the blessing of my master. Jesus Christ, say I receive in Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. It is a great thing to worship the Lord. It's a great thing to magnify the Lord. I want to read scriptures to you. So we're going to take today's scripture from the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus. If you will, you can stand up for the word of God. Have respect for the king. Exodus chapter number 15. If you are there, shout amen. Exodus 15. Are you all there now? I want you to see. Are you in Exodus 15? Okay, I will read 
from verse, I will read verse 11. Exodus 15, verse 11. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders, doing wonders? Go with me also to Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Are you in Psalm 24? Glory. Psalm 24. And I will, I will read, read from, from verse 8. Eight. Who, Who is, is this king, king of, of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come. In. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Somebody said the king, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I will be speaking on the dominion of King Jesus. Please be seated. The dominion of King Jesus. What is dominion, first of all? Dominion is the power to rule. Dominion is the power to govern. The power to rule and to govern. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is the name that is above every name. That is why you should hold that name very seriously. Do you want to succeed in life? Do you want to live long? Do you want to have good health? you want to have good money? you want to have good houses? All these are inside the name of Jesus. Everything you need is inside that name, Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 says, God also has highly exalted him and given him in the name that is above every name. The name that is above. Somebody say it's above. Say it's above. Now if this name is above every name and the name is given to you, are you not supposed to be above your problem? Because the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. You have to enter the name. You run into the name of Jesus and you are saved. The word, that, that, that's, that scripture actually means you are lifted above all evil. So today I say in the name of Jesus. You are lifted above witchcraft. You are lifted above magicians. You are lifted above enchantment. You are lifted above divination. You are lifted above all forms of wickedness. You are lifted above wickedness. The wickedness of the wicked. Somebody shall fire. fire. Are you the lady that was here on Friday? On Friday? Okay. Because I, I wanted to welcome you. But we already welcomed you. Somebody shout the name. Don't follow the style of weak Christians. Or Christians who don't know their right from their left. A lot of people, they took the name of Jesus and put it behind. They said they are looking for this. They are looking for that. Whereas what they are looking for is inside what they put aside. Start using the name. Start using the name. 
Use the name to call your houses. Use the name to call your money. Use the name of Jesus to call your friends. Use the name of Jesus to call down your healing. Someone say it's in the name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus came to this world as a king. Jesus came to this world as a king. God raised him from the dead and made him what we call king of kings and lord of lords. Immediately Jesus was raised from the dead. God moved him into that position. King of kings and lord of lords. Revelation chapter 19 verse 16 says he has on his robe the robe he was wearing he has on his robe and on his tie a name written king of kings and lord of lords lift up your right hand and say Jesus you are my king of kings you are my lord of lords and I love you now beloved you all, we all are in America. America, our system in America is not kingly. The governmental system of America is presidential. Praise the living God. So everybody in America is under presidential system. And they have kept themselves under there. But I want to shift your mind. Once you become a Christian, a believer, you are, not, you are no longer under the tutelage of the presidential system. You are now, because according to Colossians, Colossians said you were transferred from the power of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Translated. If you were translated, which means you have moved. God supernaturally moved you. So what are you doing under the old system? This thing has to be taken by faith. By faith, you've got to see yourself that you are a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Say that. Say it again. Many of us were expecting the government of America to give us money. We're expecting the government of America to build houses for us. We're expecting the government of America to do some road or to do some things for us. But let me tell you, why don't you ask your king to do all this for you? Do you think he does, cannot do it? The just shall live by faith. It says by faith you can see the king. By your faith, you can see the king of kings. You can speak to the king of kings. Who is a king? Possible. What do you mean? Who is a king? A king is never voted into power. This one, all of us carry card now. Maybe in about four weeks, three weeks or four weeks, we will all go to the pool and start voting somebody. Oh, it is this person. Oh, it is that person. So that they can be president. But in the position of a king, you cannot vote a king in. You see the difference? A king's authority is by birthright. His authority is by birthright. The very day that Jesus Christ was born into this world, he was born a king. That's why you see those magis, those three magis, they went and said, we have seen his star in Matthew chapter 2. We have seen his star. They see that the star is a kingly star and we have come to worship him. Is somebody listening to me? Jesus, as a king, cannot be voted out. You can't say, I'm angry with him now. I want to vote him out. You can't vote him out. You didn't vote him in. <laughs> Come on, let's give him a clap.
the name of the king which you carry and you have, the name of the king is the essence of his authority and power. So, this is where I'm trying to show you by the Spirit of God. The name you are carrying is in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. is actually the king's name. And that name carried kingly authority and kingly power. So when you move into a place, a king has entered the place. When you are doing anything, you have subjects where you can say, do this and do that. When you carry a kingly authority, people will not like you. Even those who are very close to you, they will not like you. They will say you are too, you are, you are, you are too authoritative. King don't live by suggestion. I suggest to you, or oh, listen to me, I want to plead with you. Kings don't plead. Please, church, are you listening? A king gives command. Say, I command this to happen. And it is so. That is why many of you sometimes don't understand me. Because you want me to be like every other person. No. I am called into the kingly office. I reign over any nonsense. It's called kingly authority. And this is what I've been preaching for some time now. To make you see the truth. You can carry this kingly authority. You can carry this kingly dominion. When you take communion, you are taking the flesh and the blood of the king. And once you take it, the Bible says, where the word of the king is, there is power. Ecclesiastes. Children of God, you have to make sure that this message affects positively your thoughts. What God does with us is that he's after our thoughts. What are you thinking? How are you thinking? It's what actually make it work or does not make it work. He say, think on this thing. And Apostle Paul was speaking, he said, I have the mind of Christ. Which means I have to think like Christ. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. If you see yourself down, you will be down. If that is your thought. But the day you see yourself as, ah, but I'm a millionaire. My father owns everything. Then you will be a millionaire. I speak to you now, I say, be a multi-millionaire. Be a multi-millionaire. Be a multi-millionaire. If you believe my, my prophecy, shout amen. amen. A king does not have all demons. Because he knows that it is detrimental to his king. He casts out demons. What is demon doing with a king? Every sickness and disease is caused by demons. Every poverty and lack, chronic one, is caused by demons. That is why Christ said, I redeemed you from the curses of the law. In the book of Galatians, it said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, so that the blessing of Abraham can come upon us. So right there where, where you are, I, I command you blessed. I say be blessed, be lifted, be kingly, be kingly, eat the fruit of your labor, eat the fruit of your labor, everything you labor for, you shall eat the good fruit, you shall eat the good fruit, in the mighty name of Jesus, I say trouble shall be far from your tabernacle, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the trouble of this world is under your feet, the problems of this world, they are all under your feet, you are not a partaker of it, in the mighty name of Jesus, every disease is under your feet, every sickness is under your feet, every demon that came from heaven, to this earth, to that came from hell to the earth, they are all under your feet. You gotta think like that and see it like that. You have authority and dominion to reign, to be a governor because Jesus made you so. 
Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Some of you are living under the control of your job. Some are living under the control of their business. Anything that is higher above you will control you. So, Apostle Valor, you know, it, it's raining. Don't go out in the rain. You are being controlled by rain. Weather. Oh, Apostle Valor, didn't you hear me? Me, do I listen to me? This is my news. He said, whose report shall you believe? We will believe in the report of the Lord. How should I listen to uh, what is that? Those people, CNN and NMBC, NN, whatever. My Bible is my report. Lord, what are you saying? This is my report, and this is also your report. It is full of good news. It's full of good news. When we talk about good news, we are talking about the power that Jesus, what Jesus did, instead of bad news. The good news he did for us. Lift up your hand and say, I'm a man of good news. I am a woman of good news. From today it is good. It is good and good and good and good. In Jesus mighty name. So now that we have known what the king is. What is the kingdom of God? Some people are looking at the kingdom of God to be a geographical place. No. The kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. What is in this world? It has come. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. When you are dealing with a king, his will must be done. You can't tell the king, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, king. I'm so sorry, king. I didn't do this thing. No. It is his will. His will is his covenant. His will is his glory. So when he say a thing, it must be carried out. Not that our president Biden will say something and all senators say no. House of Prayer will say no. Even in their meeting, they insult him. You old man, get out of that. They call him all kinds of names. Why? He's not in. Him. Let me tell you now. Anybody that cursed Jesus will face the penalty. You can't curse Jesus and go free. It's not him that's going to fight for you. But he has what we call his kingdom armies. His kingdom armies are moving per second, per second in this world. So right now that you believe that you are a citizen of the kingdom, you must also believe that you are the righteousness of God. That one is a gift that was given to you. Because you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, you were given the gift of righteousness. It's a gift. Now the third one you should do in order to see su supernatural things, miraculous things happening in your life is that you have to believe that you can do what the king said. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, my power is not up to do it. Because in the first case, you are not the one going to do it. Just receive. How we should wake up in the morning and say, king of kings, what's my assignment to do? Receive the assignment. Carry out the assignment by his power. Everything you see me do here is not my power. I am doing this supernatural work of God through the Holy Spirit. You will never see supernatural things happening in your life except through the Holy Spirit. You want to build a house, build it through the Holy Spirit. Except the Lord built a house. They labor in vain. You want, to, you want to eat. Eat your food through the Holy Spirit. Ah, you know, you don't have to eat that thing. Don't put it in your body. That is not good for you. If you do eat it supernaturally, it will not hurt you. 
The Bible says, I give you authority over all the power of the enemy, including food. Am I speaking to church? So, you are a citizen of the kingdom. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. You can now do anything. The area that the Lord has been talking to me about concerning you is the area of flow of money. And it is not anybody's fault. It's your fault. You are reposing total confidence on what you earn. Oh, let the paycheck come. Isn't it my round? Let the paycheck come. So when the paycheck comes, do not itemize it. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to pay car bill. I'm going to pay house bill. I'm going to pay this. And then you check it. What's remaining? Because the system of this world have caged your mind and have caged you into seeing the truth that they treat you like a monkey. How do you treat the monkey? You put him in a cage and you take banana. Oh, I like banana. You just peel the banana and say, take. He will rush it. And when he finished that one, he was waiting for you. That's how monkeys behave. And that is how every government of this world, that is how they behave with their, with their citizens. They see their citizens. That's why everybody is struggling to be president, to be senator, to be house of rep, so that they can reign negatively over you. Somebody say now, in the name of Jesus, Jesus is my authority. Jesus is my ruler. Good. First of all, does it mean that now that we are in the kingdom of God, we will not obey what the Lord says? I didn't say that. I live here with you, don't I? I pay my tax. I don't play with my tax. If the government says I should do something, I do it. Because Jesus said, give Caesar what is for Caesar. And give what? God. What is what? God's. Do you understand that? So, what belongs to Caesar are the laws they put. I want you to do this. I want you to do this. Federal government will bring his own law. State government will bring his own law. Local government bring their law. Every person bring their law. God will give you the grace. You have the grace and the ability to fulfill all those laws so that they do not trouble you. But you are the king. Because you are serving the king of kings. That's why I said king of As we are now, he is the king that is over us. I am not actually the one over you. He just called me to stay there for him. The Bible says in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall know one. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The rod and the staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemy. My God fool and run it over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. You see that? He concluded by saying, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Because that's where you belong. You belong to the house. Household of God. King Jesus. He watches you every day. He sees you every day. And some of you will say, where is he now? Is he really coming back? Because your mind is on physicality. And I told you that the kingdom of God is not physical thing. Am I speaking? The government of the Lord Jesus Christ is not a physical government. So Apostle Bala, what is the government? I'll show you. Go to Romans chapter 14. Look at verse 17. I'm going to quote it, but put it down in your paper. He says, the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. Eating and drinking is physical. He said, but righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. 
Listen carefully and get the nugget. Anytime you want to receive something, you have to receive it in the Holy Ghost. When you are going to, to the king, you go in the Holy Ghost. You can't go to the king ordinary. There are things that have come. How are you feeling? They will slap you. You have to go in the Holy Ghost. Do you know that you are not a child of God until you receive the Holy Ghost? It is the Holy Ghost that got you born again. Job was speaking. He said, the spirit of God has made me. The breath of the Almighty has given me life. That is why you see all kinds of religion out there. People are trying their best to get to the spirit world. You know, one time the Lord was speaking to me. He said, my son, I said, sir. He said, how do you bring spirits down to the earth? Say, ah, that's what I've been thinking, Lord, because He knows my thought. I don't want to be in this world alone. I need the Spirit to be with me. Because if the Spirit is with me, it's going to be okay. But you know, there are also magical spirits, there are also wicked spirits, there are foul spirits, there are spirits of death. All kinds of spirits are in this world. You must not put your mind and let them penetrate your mind. This is what causes is it amnesia. What do you call it? Dementia. That is what causes. That is what causes mind problem because your mind has been exposed to certain spirits. Then you become bipolar. You will start seeing things you are not supposed to see. And then you go to the doctor. Thank God for them. I don't have anything against them. But they cannot treat it. Injection, medication, cannot treat what demon put in your body. Only King Jesus, who has authority over all things, can solve that problem. Please, church, follow me very carefully. Your life will never remain the same. The message that God asked all, all the churches to preach it's not what you hear. The message you ask us to preach is the message of the kingdom. You have to be in the kingdom principle. How does the kingdom work? We know now how America works. All of us have to obey the constitution. We the people, isn't it? That is how America works. We the people. That's democracy, right? Come on, answer me. You are doing as if you are not in America. We the people, is that, not, is that new to you? Then you don't know America. Then. You may be born here and you don't know anything. I studied the constitution very well. American constitution. And I know that the way America runs is we the people. And America runs also on a system that the rich get richer. And the poor get poor. It is called capitalist system. The kingdom of God is not capitalist. Are you following me, church? Only 1% of Americans have the total billions and, and trillions and all that. Only 1%. The remaining 99%, they are on the floor. I pray that you will not be part of it. That's why, my friend, you need, to, you need to prepare yourself with the gospel message of the kingdom and get yourself alive. The Bible says, arise and shine. As I was saying, he said, arise and shine. For the glory of God has risen upon you. The kingdom glory, there is no way kingdom glory will not come upon you as a citizen of the kingdom. You carry kingdom glory. You carry kingdom glory. That is what God said in Exodus 15, 11. He, he told you who he is. And who he is is what you are. Come on, clap for Jesus one more. So in Romans chapter 14, verse 17, which defines the kingdom of God, he says, the kingdom of God 
is not in meat and drink. When you fast and you abstain from fast, God, God honors it. God more so. God honor when you take your food and you give it to another person. That's fasting. When you take your money and you give it to those who are hungry, that's fasting. God honors it. He said, this is the fact which I have chosen. That you should tell your food, your everything unto another person. And break the yoke of wickedness. How many of you were with me in the Christmas church yesterday? But you saw yokes be broken. Because they don't see things like that. Some of you here, because you see it every day, every day, you seem to become so familiar with it. Instead of you to jump at it and say, ah, this is what God is saying. Great faith is not running around. Great faith is what you believe the king, that this is what the king said. And I believe it. You may not even see it before you believe it. That's great faith. God always say to you every day, if you hear him, and even on this pulpit, he will tell you, it is not what you see, it's what you believe. You have to believe first. Many Christians live the opposite. Oh, I want to see it now. Show me, show me. And that takes lesson. But God is also saying, when you are saying that to him, he say, believe me. Believe me and you will get it. Just believe me and you will get it. Do I have an excited amen there? You must believe before you see it. Not that you, you see it first and then believe. That's Thomas. You are not a Thomas. If God said it, you have an evidence. If God said it in his word, it is the evidence you, you hold on to. So I say to you, do you have evidence of what you are praying? There is no way the king will not give it to you. He said his word is yea and amen. Anything you are asking the king, if it is within this word of his, you will get it because you believe his word. So your condition now don't matter. I don't think you have any, I don't think you have any joy. I don't have any. It doesn't matter to the king. As far as the king is, is concerned, you are the richest person. As far as the king is, you are not sick. As far as in the mind of the king, the king of glory, you are not confused. Do you believe all this? Your mindset will change. And once your mindset changes, you have tremendous supernatural prosperity and supernatural success. I don't care who is causing Oh, I was bad. I saw, I saw one man. He holds something. And he was just cursing. He was, he was doing enchantment. He was doing definition. Let me tell you. If you know who you are, the day you know who you are, those things don't work. I faced the same battle. I faced the same battle. In my own case, it was revealed to me that somebody was doing something against the ministry and against my life. They want me to fall. They want me never to make. So I had to turn. I said, King Jesus, where is your faith? Are you going to allow an uncircumcised Philippian to put me down? He said, Lord, show me what you say. All you got to do is move up. He said, let them say whatever they want. You just move up. Somebody said, move up. Going up. Is your life going up? Because when you go up, that's where you can tread. 
upon the tongue of the enemy you can tread upon the statements of the enemy anything the enemy say that is not your portion just tread it somebody say tread it say tread upon it say tread upon it let's say this is the words that the enemy speak against you and it went into the atmosphere you don't have to bother us once you take authority over those words and you tell the enemy my tongue is higher than your own. Why? Because you are using the tongue of Christ. And you cast that thing down. Somebody say, cast it down. You must make sure. You will ask the blood of Jesus to locate it for you. Which heaven, which realm is, or dimension is this thing operating for? Once you know it, I'm teaching you very deep things. It's once you know it, you command it in Jesus' name, I cast you down. Once it comes down, Put your feet up. You are fulfilling the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. And you shall tread upon the serpent and the scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. When you begin to live, live like a jellyfish, God does not expect his children to live like jellyfish. He is God. Jesus is king of kings. And moreover, he dwells inside you. How can you be carried the king of kings and, and you are still crying and doing all kinds of nonsense? I don't know. I don't know. Is that how to live? Jesus, we help you. If you help yourself. This Holy Spirit is the administrator of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God has to be administered. And the Holy Spirit is that administrator. You get that? That's it. Because you can't, you can't do nothing in the kingdom without the Holy Spirit. Look at what Jesus said. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 20, Jesus said, If I cast out devils or demons by the Spirit of God or by the hand of God, both of them are the same. Hand of God or Spirit of God, which whatever that's written in, that, in your Bible, he said, then you know that the kingdom of God has come upon you. Are you getting what I'm telling you? We don't cast out devil by, by your power. We don't break the devil by your power. You do it by the power of the Holy Spirit that is inside. First John 4, 4, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Is there anything you cannot face in this world? If the Holy Spirit is there and you repose confidence in him, you are not a, 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 a Jojo Christian, a church goer, and then something come and begin to shake. There is solution inside you. The answers you need, they are always inside you. That's somebody under the kingdom. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is what rules over all the kingdoms of the earth. Are there kingdoms on earth? Yes. Has the kingdom of God come to the earth? Yes. So, what is the difference between kingdom of God and the kingdoms that are in the world? I'm talking about the systemic system. People who lie to you, cheat you, molest you, keep your money. And sometimes they'll come and say, it's going to be well. Sickness comes from that kingdom. Kingdom of that. All diseases are in the kingdom of that. But what do you do as a child of God? I was telling you that you can bring the things of the spirit into the physical realm. If you saw Psalm 103, Psalm 103 in verse 19, the Bible said the Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules this is how to win. This is how to make it. This is how to succeed. See yourself as a kingdom citizen. Not a citizen of, of, a citizen of the earth. Once you keep doing that, then God is not your father. If God is your father, you will have to be where God is. Say God is your father and you are dealing inside the... You remember uh, 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 the, son, the grandson of Saul. 
He didn't know that he was a king. Because he was dropped. And he has problem with his legs. So he was living, living in Ladoba. Instead of living in the king, in Jerusalem. So he was eating the food of the pigs. Get his thinking place. Why, why should you not be able to change your wardrobe as you want? Why should you not be able to change the, the furniture in your house? Why should you not be able to change your car when you need it? All these things, it is the kingdom of heaven that control them. That's what I'm preaching. Every lie can be destroyed. God just can say Satan is a lie. And the father of it. Hallelujah. So as a king, Jesus has unlimited authority. Unlimited. Say that. Say unlimited authority. That is to say authority that cannot be limited. He has unlimited power. The power that cannot be limited. The way you are looking in this world is that you are looking as if the king of kings limited. Anything I can't do, I don't have it. The king has been limited. Because he is the ruler over you. Shout hallelujah. Let me give you this in the book of Daniel 7. I want you to see what he's spoken to. 